okay? Hillary Clinton found to have something wrong with her. Several videos on Facebook of her falling down. I'm going to defend Hillary Clinton. You know, these people, when they do the uh, tours, and when they get themselves out there and stuff, they get tired. Um, a lot of things on their schedule. A lot of times things are not planned by them. And if, if, I'll say it again, if things are done and they get tired and some media wants to go out there and make fun of them or hates a picture of them when they're trying to rest, like they did Donald Trump with his hands in his, uh, face in his hands, doing a face plant with his hands because he's tired or frustrated and they said that he was, uh, crying over his defeat, uh, now they're doing it over Hillary Clinton. And I'm sitting here eating a wonderful chicken parm and spaghetti dinner, as I do the show today. Uh, I don't get it. I just don't get They do that. And I probably will never understood why they do that. Never understand it at all. Why don't these people take pictures of Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, even in our local media, for our local elections, for the county and the state or whatever? Why can't it be something nice? Why can't you take a picture of them uh, talking to other people? Or if you really want to do something bad, why don't you go after something else? There's a lot of things these two have done that are actually bad stuff. That can be done in documented bad stuff. Well, why don't you just do good things? Why don't you stop all the negativity, post everything good about these people, uh, and let us, the voters, decide which candidate is going to be elected. Instead of posting all the negativity, post the good stuff. The good things Hillary's done. The good thing Donald Trump has done. The good thing the uh, senators and the local assemblymen or, or Congress or whatever it is put in good stuff. Positive things. And let us pick which one's the best. Instead, you're going to do negative stuff. You're going to look at negative stuff. You're going to see negative stuff. You're going to hear negative stuff. You're going to go on and on with all the negativity. Negativity, negativity, negativity. Negativity, everything is negative. And it's just wrong. Oh, these uh, sodas that I have here. Uh, Goya. G-O-Y-A. Uh, trying them for the first time. Or second time. Or whatever it is. Uh... I don't remember ever having these before. But the person working the board tonight does. They said I did have it one time before. But I don't remember it. But they're good soda. I have grape here. I have some uh, root beer or something. Um, I have the regular kind, which is kind of spicy. I had that earlier. So, the positivity needs to be reinforced. And as I was saying at the beginning, 50-something days until we make our decision. 50-something. Okay? It's not long. Not a long time, folks. It's coming down to it. Uh, I hope my Donald Trump wins. Uh, if you're voting for Hillary, that's fine. You can do that. It's a personal decision, like I said before. I'm not going to go into it. Uh, we had problems with the phones. We're going to try to get them back working. Uh, with the spare system we have. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Probably going to get a bunch of rats in here screaming and yelling at us again. I don't know. But we're going to try it. Uh, the website, we had a problem, 
huge problem with getting shows up there. We've had a problem with YouTube. YouTube has new rules. Uh, some of the advertisements, some of the music cannot be played on YouTube. Uh, so this whole show uh, may only be featured in the entirety of it on my website and here live. I vlog TV. Uh, so, I might have to go through and scam, skim, select, systemize, whatever you want to call it. Oh, uh, edit, whatever the word is, you wish to use, of my show to have it on YouTube. I don't, I disagree with it. I don't think it's right. But new rules are for new things. And they're heavy on these rules. Um, they're making us obey them or else. Heavy on the system, heavy on the rules, heavy on everything. There I go, taking another sip. I poured it into another glass-like container. Star Wars, but I don't think it's working that well. Like one of these, it reminds me of a sippy cup, for God's sake. That's what it reminds me of. But anyways, I hosed about two of these Goya bottles of uh, soda drink, or whatever you want to call it, in it. So, that's what I have. So folks, uh, the show is, is taking some turns. Glad to be back up here, www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com, www.thewadeshow.com. Don't forget the paranormal show that I have is going on live uh, on iBlog. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to hold back anymore. New shows, new things, everything's happening. It's all here, it's all there. Um, my first break is coming up. Now, you might not hear the advertisements if you're listening to us on YouTube, but... Uh, Renee has a wonderful tarot thing she does. Um, so that's what's happened. So, folks, we gotta go on our first break. Um, we're gonna take the first break, and then when we come back, we got more stuff. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Renee, and I'm the owner of Angelic Comfort. I'm a psychic medium, intuitive empath, Reiki master, ordained minister, spiritual counselor, and a spiritual guide. Angelic Comfort offers angel readings, spiritual counseling and guidance sessions, spirit communication, energy work workshops, and even private gallery events. We have an on-site shop that, once purchased, each item is individually infused with Reiki energy to help you with any energy work that you may need. Also, we have many posts and blogs on the site that help you to become enlightened a little bit more or even to help you in a time of need. So please stop by Angelic Comfort today at www.angelic-comfort.com. As I come off the break, you wouldn't believe the stuff that we have. You wouldn't believe it. Unbelievable, unbelievable stuff. Uh, email cwlawrence01 at gmail.com. Well, then my website and email me, too. Uh, I feel people are unhappy about my lecture on Donald Trump last time. Well, that's just tough. I've had it with people telling me who they're going to vote for, who they're not going to vote for, why and where and when. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to vote for who I want to vote for, and I encourage you to do it, too. Don't be... Even if you want to vote for Hillary Clinton, don't be intimidated by the other side. Don't be intimidated by me telling you to vote for Donald Trump because uh, of whatever. Don't be intimidated by me telling you who to vote for. Vote for who you want to vote for. more of this stuff, more of this sippy cup. Anyway, vote for who you want to vote for. Vote for who you think you should vote for. Uh, vote for the candidate that pleases your mind, your eyes, your thoughts. 
Uh, I can't stress it enough. Let's go into the news. In the news this week, we've seen a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff on, uh, at least in my state, on drug use, heroin epidemics. That's been in the news. Um, of course, Donald Trump and Hillary and their physical, medical, psychological problems are in the news. I saw some tabloids uh, of different stuff that I actually laughed at dealing with these problems. I thought anybody that has these problems would not be running for president, would not be running for anything. They would be home taking care of their medical problems. So that is something. Uh, found out Jerry Lewis is still out there. He's got some program going on. That's that's pretty cool. Um, the other stuff is... is September 11th stuff is happening and it did happen and a lot of people were upset about some of the stuff that happened uh, but you know what it happened and you know what it's not good whether you believe it was terrorist attack would you believe it was an inside job or do you believe whatever else is out there it was a bad thing that happened okay uh also, not only on bad things that happen about America, this football thing where these people are refusing to stand for the national anthem. Do you realize in the football rules, uh, I looked this up myself even, the football rules in a book uh, made by some team made by some group, a council, made by a board of directors, coaches, owners, whatever it is. It says right there that you're supposed to stand. And penalties can happen for the player it doesn't. End of subject. I'm looking at right at it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven papers. Eleven pieces of papers, newspaper clippings, Whatever it is, right here in front of me, with all this football stuff. All of the football stuff. The 49ers, uh, uh, the Giants, uh, uh, the Panthers. Uh, we could go on, the Cardinals. Go on, all these football players. Dallas Cowboys. Um, for you Cowboy fans that think you're all right, they have an opinion on it. We have some uh, football team owners. We have some other people standing. And the 49ers are the ones that started this stuff. Okay, they're just some of the teams. There's more teams on here. There's uh, about eight teams. Can't go through them all. There's some coaches' opinions on what's happening and, and, and football play and other teams, hockey and baseball. There's even some soccer uh, as a sport of the teams that are coming out saying they don't stand for the national anthem. Uh, I've seen it in hockey where the guy has a lot on his mind, especially the goalie or the centers or the ones that are the best players. They got a lot on their mind. But that doesn't mean they don't love this country. Just because they're not staring at the flag with their hand over their heart and, and, and their helmet in the other hand, okay? But I do believe you should stand up for it. I believe that you should be at a, a, a attention for it. It's our country. It's our national anthem. It shows pride in where you live. That doesn't mean that you can't have a lot on your mind. It doesn't mean that for that one moment, life is based on where you live, your freedom, and your ability to show that you're proud of where you live. Maybe you're not proud of where you live. Well, then why are you here? Well, you gotta stay here. Wah, 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 in and out. I've had these arguments with our callers. I've had the arguments with our producers. I've had the argument with Renee even about why people are in America. And while they should go or stay. America was built on immigrants coming over here wanting something different. So if you don't want something different and you don't want to have pride in where you are, you know, I don't know what to say about you. But that's it. I did look it up. I found it. I said I was going to do it. And it's right there in the football rule books that it is there. 
End of story. It's there. What else is in our news stack that we can talk about? Because I'm tired of talking about the elections. Here we go. Five pages of papers and uh, stories of how Hillary Clinton's medical condition is affecting her. Get over it. I am defending Hillary Clinton today. Get over it. Whatever she has a problem with, you don't need to know about it. All you need to know is two things. Is she going to do the presidency properly? And is she a good candidate for it? That's it. Donald Trump, same thing. Can he do it? Is he a good candidate for it? That's it. We don't need to know their medical problems. We don't really need to know when they took a crap in the morning and when they pissed themselves on a plane. We don't need to know when they pissed in the morning and they missed taking a crap after their uh, supper meal. We don't need to know this stuff. I don't need to know their kidney stone schedule. I don't need to know their uh, diabetic pill-taking schedule. I don't need to know their psychiatric med routine. All I need to know is, are they going to be a good president or not? That's what I need to know. That's all I care about. So I'm defending Hillary Clinton. I'm sorry you people have gotten on my nerves about this. This is every paper I see. Is she ready? Is she done tabloids and everything? Like I said before, this is unfair to this person. I may not be for her being president, but I am for her being treated correctly, being treated fairly, being treated properly during the time that she is running. Just like I do about uh, Donald Trump. Just like anybody that's running for an office of political stature or anything. They should be treated uh, good. Basically, treat their treatment should be good. Uh, that's all I can say about it. Uh, the election is getting fishy. It's getting funny. It's getting whatever the word I can call it. It's just going in all directions that it shouldn't be going in. We should be dying down with 50-some days. We have one month, one more holiday and we elect Halloween. That's coming up. Our kids go back to school now. Our kids are back in school. And we need to make a decision. We don't have very long to do it. They Now, I realize the election should be, as I stated earlier, going on the positive note. Not all this negativity. They should be saying every positive thing they can about the two until we're sick in our heads about hearing about it and then we can make our decision. But they're not. And nobody's standing up for it. Am I the only one sitting here with a microphone in front of me on the airwaves saying this is how it should be done? I am the only one doing that? There is a problem with you. There's a problem with you, the people, if I am the only one that's saying that. There's an absolute problem. There really is. There honestly is a problem, folks. We have a very serious problem. And we need it solved. We need to have a solution. I don't know what it is. Because I've mentioned thousands of things on my program here for a solution of what's happening. And not one of you people have done anything about it. But that's okay. That's okay. That's wonderful. It is um, a, a great. The more I see it, the more it makes me sick. The more I see it, the more it makes me have a hassle. The more I see it, the more it makes me want to throw up. Makes me want to vomit my meal. My wonderful chicken parmesan and spaghetti meal. I just want to vomit. Vomit right on you people who think this stuff is acceptable, who think this stuff is great, who want to sit here and taunt and mock and moan and groan and, and, and unsocialized behavior about two people that's going to be in the most important position they could ever be in in their lives. Our lives are dependent on it. Our children's lives are depending on it. Uh, uh, babies that have not even been born yet, lives depend on it. And we are sitting here mocking it, making fun of it, laughing at it like it's a joke. 
saying everything negative we can about the two people, and it's sick. Am I the only one that's tired of it? Am I the only one? My website, www.thewadeshell.com. Uh, www.diversitybroadcasting.com. I'm beginning to think I'm the only one that cares about these issues. I'm beginning to think I'm the only one that wants to care about these issues. I don't see the mainstream media doing anything about it. I don't see them saying, oh, yes, indeed, there's negativity. They thrive on it. They thrive on the negativity. I just want once, one person from these two elections, from these two people that are running for election, to call me on the phone, okay, and have an interview with me in here. So we can talk about stuff and get their opinions, get their stuff, and get it out to you, the, uh, the people. But not one of them has done it. I did receive an email from Hillary Clinton's uh, uh, group. Um, I asked a few questions, and they sent me back a few answers and some links. Uh, Donald Trump's site has sent me back a few things that I've asked. But it's nothing that I can pull into a big pool and have for you people to give you better information. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's gone wrong. I don't know what will go wrong. I don't know how to correct it. Sometimes maybe it's not me. Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes it's not nobody. It's just the way it is. And we got to live with it. Or I have to live with it. Or you have to live with it. Somebody's got to live with what's happening. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy if the wrong person gets the presidency. But both of them should be treated fairly while they're running. Both of them should be treated fairly while things are going on. We should not be caring about, again, their medicine routine or the shape they're in medically. I don't think, and thousands of others don't think it has anything to do with the position of presidency. I don't. They don't. So stop it. If you're listening to my voice right now, stop it. Start saying positive things. Or don't say anything at all. Don't give us this garbage that you're giving us. Absolutely not. We're not going to stand for it. I'm not going to stand for it. I don't want to stand for it. With that, we have another break. Another, another break coming up. I'm going to get these breaks out of the way so we can rant and rave when it's phone answering time. So let's go to this break. Uh, we'll be right back right after this. Hi, author and space scientist Stephanie Osborne here. Please join me for my new show, the Osborne Cosmic Weather Report is a five-minute weekly segment that informs listeners about solar and space weather activity, such as sunspots, flares, auroras, comets, meteor showers, as well as space news, historical space anniversaries, and more. For specific air times, check the schedule on your favorite radio station. Hello, my name is Renee, and I'm the owner of Angelic Comfort. I'm a psychic medium, intuitive empath. Reiki Master, Ordained Minister, Spiritual Counselor, and a Spiritual Guide. Angelic Comfort offers angel readings, spiritual counseling and guidance sessions, spirit communication, energy work workshops, and even private gallery events. We have an on-site shop that, once purchased, each item is individually infused with Reiki energy to help you with any energy work that you may need. Also, we have many posts and blogs on the site that help you become enlightened a little bit more or even to help you in a time of need so please stop by angelic comfort today at www.angelic-comfort.com all right we're back from the break if you have insurance and you need insurance whether it be home insurance maybe auto insurance maybe business insurance call my friend heather staley at H.R. Staley Agency. The H.R. Staley Agency can help you with all of your insurance needs. Go up there now and check out what they have to offer. 
www.hrstaley, that's H-R-S-T-A-L-E-Y, agency.com. Again, www.hrstaley.com. Agency.com. HR Stalis Agency for all of your insurance needs. Uh, on the break, uh, we had uh, a phone call here. Uh, it was a, a good friend of mine, and he wanted to know if the phones were working so he could call in and complain about things that are happening politically. And I told him they are, but don't call in. I don't want to hear anything negative. So, um, he's not going to call in and complain. But he did mention some things. I asked him what he wanted to talk about. He wanted to talk about the point that people have not gotten uh, politically or any other fashion. They have not gotten the point that things are acting up. Things are not going well in different states. Things are not going well like in our local area. A lot of people don't know what's going on here. But we have a very lot of corruption on our, uh, our county level and state level and our personal um, areas where we live in. Uh, for instance, uh, the local legislation is absolutely wrong. I, I don't understand what's going on. Uh, but it is. and. To a lot of people, this affects the presidential election. And I agree with what he's talking about. But again, it's the negativity, the junk, the, the garbage that's being thrown out there that's causing a lot, a lot of problems. It just is. And I don't know how to say it any better than it shouldn't be thrown around, it shouldn't be done, it shouldn't be had. Uh, we should not deal with the things that are happening. Right now I'm trying to light my cigar, by the way. Uh, that's probably the clicking noise you hear is this lighter. It's not lighting. So, again, uh, I'm probably going to go without a cigar during the show. Which I don't know if I could do. I don't know if I could go without a cigar. during the show at all. So, as I get it finally lit, just dawns on me that I got some papers here of other stuff that's going on. So let's get into that news. So let's get into it. Huffington Post reports that Monsanto is selling itself for $66 billion in the pesticide mega merger. Monsanto is the company that makes modified generic genetic weird food or order said to do these things it's said to do these things new york uh slash frankfurt okay german drugs and crop chemicals company bear has won over U.S. seeds firm Monsanto with an improved takeover offer of around $66 billion ending months of raging um, after increasing its bid for a third time. The 128-a-share deal up from Bayer's previous offer of 127.50 a share is the biggest of the year so far and largest cash bid on record. The deal would create a company commanding more than a quarter of a combined world market for seeds, pesticides, and fast solidating farm supplies industry. Bayer, the German company Bayer. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think they make medicine. Uh, I believe the Bayer's is aspirin. Uh, and other pharmaceutical type drugs. So maybe if we eat our corn now, uh, then we could stop getting headaches or something. I don't know. But that's a lot of money. Trust me. In other news, uh, California, the state of California, PETA wins again. All these other little ranting, raving animal activists win again is banning orca breeding in captivity. 
Um, and I'm not sure what this means. Uh, but here it is. Huffington Post. 2013 firm Blackfish, a film that I've actually watched and I disagreed with heavily, cast a spotlight on the cruelty of keeping orcas captive at marine parks. The film triggered a furrow of legislation, particularly California, vowed to ban orca in captivity. In March, after years of boycotts and impeding legal pres pressure, SeaWorld announced that it would end its orca breeding program as well as its theatrical shows that have featured its killer whales. Now California is harming, hammering the nail in the coffin. Governor Jerry Brown signed legislation this week that it will outlaw orca breeding and captivity programs in the state. Assemblyman Richard Bloom, uh, a, um, from Santa Monica, authored will also ban California parts from featuring orcas in performances for entertainment. Um, this is after they also record, uh, recognize here that Ringling Brothers stopped their elephants uh, and uh, may discontinue their breeding program of captive animals. Folks, what is wrong with having a captive animal for study? What is wrong with having a captive animal doing what it naturally does? A whale jumps out of the water and splashes back in the water. They do it naturally. Now I'm going to have PETA and everybody else after me. And I'm going to have PETA and everybody else screaming and yelling at me. Okay? Because you think this is okay. You think this is funny. You think this is something that's okay to do. Okay, you think it's uh, um, um, a big thing. I don't know what to say about you. Uh, but it's, it, it's wrong. We need study. We need something. These parts, I went to SeaWorld, and I remember the killer whales, the orcas. And I don't remember them being beaten and mistreated. And oh my lord, look at this. These things are horribly kept, right? No, it's not. It mentions other animals, seals, walruses, polar bears. Wow, they have a polar bear show. I didn't know that. But they did. I think the polar bear's name is Klondike, who is at SeaWorld in Orlando. Not a big thing about him. Dolphin conservation. Here's something delightful about these animals now. Dolphin conservation caught on tape for the first time. A study claims to have recorded a previously unknown language between dolphins. Researchers say that they made an audio recording of two black sea bottlenose dolphins admitting unique pulses and whistles that most likely formed words and sentences. The dolphins at the Karadag National Reserve in Russia were even described as pausing and listening to one another before responding, according to the study. It goes to say that the fundamental difference between dolphin exchange of information and human conversation is the characteristics of acoustic signals of their spoken language. Now this study, the person that wrote this, uh, again, the Huffington Post, uh, Nina Gogowatsky, I can't even pronounce her last name there, a trends reporter for the Huffington Post, reported this. Beautiful article on it. Uh, we may have something about this up on our website. Uh, I think it should be. I think a lot of people uh, should check this out. Uh, I think it's great, and it shows that animals, I also know elephants, chimpanzees, birds, they can have structured, as I'm going to call it, systematic languages and ways of communication just like us. But dolphins are the closest to us here in their language, as it says in this article here. We're going to have it up there for you to see on the website. I think everybody should read this article. It's a very pleasing article. It's very good information. And it's wonderful to see that this stuff is happening. This kind of research has been going on for years. 
and and they every time they do this kind of research with dolphins or other animals about speaking and communications it's wonderful to see the great results that they get it shows also the intelligence levels of these animals that they can respond they can communicate they can um, do a lot of things and guess what folks the dolphins live in the water if we can get marine animals to do this and certain uh, land mammals what what kind of communications are everywhere else in the universe folks we have animals here that communicate just like us here in our own uh, backyard so to speak and we're not communicating with them i wonder what they would tell us if they could speak our language parrots can speak our language but they only have a copying source um, i know rats cats and monkeys can learn to speak and i've even heard of bears that have learned to say a word or two because of their vocal cord area um so and i uh, know of elephants that have responded to our communication just like we would in trying to communicate with us so it's a wonderful study it's a wonderful thing wonderful article huffington post um, something wonderful we have here finally and on that note we got to go into more bad news uh, something wonderful, I say, and then all of a sudden I find out more bad news. Um, activist groups slam proposal to kill more than 44,000 wild horses. Uh, the Bureau of Land Management doesn't plan to follow an advisory board's recommendation to euthanize about 45,000 wild horses and burrows that are currently holding in holding facilities, the agency said Thursday. Despite a re the recommendation of the BLM will not euthanize or sell without limitation any health animals, agency spokesperson said. Huffington Post in an email the BML will issue a formal response to the next board meeting in 2017. Animal rights group, including the Humane so Society of the United States and In Defense of Animals, condemned the recommendation of the advisory board made last week and said that the accepting would be betrayal to BMM's responsibility to the horses. They have a commitment to these animals. The HSUHS's wild horse and burrow program manager told the Huffington Post. Well, folks, they're not going to do it. Uh, these, these horses are uh, burrow of land management. Um... It, it's, I don't know. Um, they wanted to do this for a while. There were 44,111 wild horses and 1,080 burrows in the BLM holding facility in July. By comparison, the estimated in March, there were 70,000 free-roaming horses and burrows across 10 western states. Wild horses and barrels, um, I, believe, I believe barrels are like donkeys or mules. Um, what mules? What, what are you saying over there? Oh, mules are a horse and a donkey. Man. I know that, but the people listening to my show, donkeys, barrels, uh, jackasses, uh, mules, they all put those in the same category. So there's barrels and horses. That's the way it goes. Um... And I agree. Uh, I uh, don't think that anybody should kill wild animals in that fashion. Especially wild horses. I like horses. Uh, a new study shows that bats use second sense to hunt prey in noisy environments. This is Science Daily reporting this. Not that we're on animals. Um, bats are surprisingly fast decision makers. Um, some things, other things about bats, but right now bats use a second sense to hunt prey. Noise. Like many predators, the fringe-lipped bat primarily loses its hearing, fringe-lipped, anyways, to find its prey. But when human-generated noise on a rise, it goes into some of the human-generated noises that are occurring that could affect bats hunting. Scientists are examining how bats and other animals might adapt to find their next meal. According to the new study, when noise makes the um, uh, mating calls of the bats prey, 
the bats shift to another sensory mode. Echolocation. Echolocation is a way of sensing objects. And it's also listed in this other one saying that their decision-making skills are high. They can make quick decisions while hunting, while flying, anything else. But, okay, so the echolocation, and we all know what echolocation is, I hope. I'm not going to get into it right now anyways. It's a way of sensing objects and movement by scanning the environment with high-frequency sounds. It's like radar. A professor of integrated biology at the University of Texas and often and co-author of a study named Mike Ryan says that bats are doing something similar to what we do at a noisy party. Admit all the conversations, we can turn our attention to one speaker and tune in on the rest. That means they're tuning on on one insect and going after it. Bats can do this. Wonderful study again. On the studies on animals. We're going on animals. Polar bears are losing their homes. Um, endangered Hawaiian crow species shows knack for tool use. And it goes on to other crows using tool use. All of these animal uh, news and everything else we have here. Everything's about animal news this week because I'm getting off the political subject. That's why. I want to ask why I'm doing this because I want off the political shit. I want off all of this medical problems with the people running for president. I want off all these laws and these people that are corrupt. That's why I'm doing the animal news. Maybe if you heard some news about animals and news about other things besides human beings, maybe you open your mind and get a little different about life, huh? Dinosaurs' camouflage pattern is revealed. Wow, we're going up to the BBC News now. Dinosaurs' camouflage pattern is revealed. A study of well-preserved Chinese, I can't even pronounce this no, uh, name of this dinosaur, the Cytosacolosaurus fossil shows it has a light underside and was darker on top, an arranged McCloud counter shading. This suggests the species lived in an environment with diffused light, such as forests. As a part of their research, the science teamed up with an artist to produce a 3D model of the creature. Okay. The findings of the international team of researchers. It does show a picture here, and it shows a skeletal picture and some other pictures I'm not too sure about. I'm not too sure what they are. But an international team of researchers have been published in a current biology journal. Okay. Um, they show that the camouflage against predators and that use patterns of shadow on an object to determine their shape, just as humans do. The parrot lizard, is this dinosaur that I can't pronounce its name, is referenced to its parrot-like beak. Okay, previous scientists have discovered that some fossils preserved show structures that carry melanin pigments found in the feathers and skin of many animals. In some species, such as this dinosaur, I can't pronounce its name, it's possible to make out the patterns of preserved melanin without the aid of a microscope. Researchers project color patterns found on a fossil onto a life-size model to explore they might have helped the creature stay in. And then it goes into other things about dinosaurs and their coloring and how they camouflage themselves and how they lived. Wonderful article as well. Um, something not political. Something that's not political. How animals that are deceased and extinct can camouflage themselves. Get your mind out of the politics right now. Or get out of here. The guy at the board over there, get out of here then. If you don't want to know about dinosaurs and animals, get the hell out of this room. I'll run the whole damn show myself. Then shut up. God, I hate, I, you know, are you going to run the show and, and be quiet or not? Okay, then. God, sitting over here, he's sitting at the board, and he's making these comments about these animals. I mentioned that they can camouflage themselves, and he goes, oh, so what? So what? That means a dinosaur wouldn't be captured by another dinosaur. The Tyrannosaurus rex can't see the prey. The Tyrannosaurus rex can't eat this dinosaur. I can't even pronounce his name. I can't even pronounce these two, three dinosaurs' names. That's how bad I am at reading this stuff. I can't pronounce their name. I don't even know who made these names up. To be honest with you, I don't even know where they came up with these names that can't be pronounced. And I don't know how they pronounced them. All right. 
Uh, something else on the news, uh, Google Street View blurs cow's face in camouflage. A cow which is face blurred by Google Street View has proved on a hit of social media. An animal was snapped by Google's cameras and seemingly given the same treatment humans received for privacy reasons. Highlighting the site was retweeted more than 9,000 times. Google admitted that its face blurring technology has been a little overjealous. Bovine anonymity. The cow's face was clearly be seen grazing near the river. Cam on an image taken slightly further away, but Google seems to have blurred it for close-up view. Google's Street View in 2007 received the widespread media coverage as cars mounted with cameras map streets around the world. To help combat privacy concerns, software was used to automatically blur human faces. A spokesperson for Juju said, We thought we were putting the other one when we heard the moves, but it's clear that our automatic face blurring technology has been a little over jealous. So far, the tweet has been liked more than 12,000 times. Folks, they blur the cow's face. Might have been an accident, we're not sure, but why can't they blur our faces? That's what the, uh, I mean, we're talking about animals here. Uh, why can't they blur our faces? The BBC website. Second lowest minimum for Arctic. The Arctic is ice covered 2016 reached the second lowest minimum on record tied with 2007. It's affecting polar bears and other animals. Arctic sea ice cover grows each autumn and winter and shrinks each spring and summer. It has been regarded as a sensitive indicator of change of the Earth's climate system. The ice extent has been tracked by the U.S. National Show of Ice Data Center, the NSIDC, in Boulder, Colorado, using satellite measurements. However, the center cautioned the figures were primarily added that the changing winds could push the ice extent lower. The year's minimum is seen to be something of a surprise as scientists believe that the low atmospheric pressure and cloudy skies in June and July have slowed down the melt. Record global and sea surface temperatures in 2015 continue to shatter the records well into 2016. Had led many to believe that the Arctic would reach a new low mark this year. But some scientists, including experts from Reading University in the UK, Reading University, argued that their analysis of melt ponds and ice holes indicated 2016 would not beat 2012. All right, Reading University in the United Kingdom. Uh, that's the uh, university here. Um, shows that ice melting is there. Well, what about the ice melting? We're going into this global warming stuff again. But it shows polar bears, seals, um, fish, and I mentioned something else is totally affected by this. This is what I'm making here. Uh, let's go into unknown animal secrets and behavior I have in a pile here. I also have other piles of animals that have uh, been killed in the wild for sport purposes. This week, the British... Science Festival University has been divulging the secrets of the animal kingdom. Professor Roy Wilson of Swansea University, including penguin diving habits, albatross hunting methods, and the emotional states of elephants. Leaving the busting hub of the festival, which has taken over the Swansea campus all week, is shown the nerve center of Professor Wilson's animal surveillance operation. Addressing a crowd of journalists, Professor Wilson, his work was all made possible by a small electronic chip. His team developed by specially to stalk animals in their private hours. And it shows a video here of them doing that on some animals. Um, so it shows what the animal's doing in their behavior when we're not around. Uh... Everything about animals, because I'm tired of our political stuff. And we're going to end with this. Uh, lion hunters in South Africa shooting tamed animals. It looks at the face of the American hunter. A single shot rings out in the southern Indian book. The lion cartwheels from the force of the bullet. Shocked and confused, it roars, turns, and quickly limps into the bush. 
The video cuts to see the lying, laying dead in the American walking up to him. All right. The video was shot by Derek Gobet, a safari cameraman brought to make a souvenir for 10 American hunters who had paid thousands of dollars each to shoot a lion. But it says that they went about was neither fair nor legal, that it was something known as canned lion hunting, more of a duck shoot than a lion hunt. Hunting is big business in South Africa. It was worth $70 million. Holy cow, folks, 70 Seven zero million dollars. The number after sixty-nine million dollars. But it's generally understood to be for wild animals, not for those bred in captivity just to be shot. It's all just a lie. Every year, the hundreds of lions are bred captivity across the mirror for the purpose of being placed onto private game reserves for hunting. This is just like kangaroos, deer. Uh, we see it with bears. We've seen it with uh, ducks. That's why they named it duck hunting. We've also seen them on purposely um, darting animals or hunting them, and the animal will be put to sleep. You take a picture with this animal, and they go, and it's big stuff for you. But they pay thousands of dollars for it. It says a bunch of how much some people pay, $8,000 one. But let's get back to the article. Every year, hundreds of lions are bred in captivity across the U.S. for purposes of being private game reserves hunting. All right. He explained how lions appeared to be used to, hu used to humans, how one was shot while hiding in a hole, another up against the fence, a new report in the International Fund for Wild Animal Welfare, the FAW says that the decade between 2004 and 2014, 1.7 million animals were killed for a trophy. At least 200,000, that's 200,000, of them were threatened species such as elephants, rhinos, or lions. This goes on to talk about these reserves and these hunting practices. Uh, some of them bred for it, some of them are not mainly focusing on their breeding farms. Now, let me explain to you what this is. They take an animal. Uh, they breed it. Uh, it has babies, whatever. And they have them on these farms or on these reserves. And they're made so that you can hunt and kill them. Now, I don't know if they eat them afterwards. The deer you can take home to eat. The kangaroo you can. The alligator you can. The crocodile, I don't know about. The bear, I think maybe you could. Lions and elephants and hippos and other animals it's mentioning on here. I don't believe so. But it, it, I disagree with it. Um, I kind of disagree with you poaching the animal or targeting the animal or darting the animal or putting the animal to sleep to get your picture with it. But if you really want to get your picture taken with a sleeping rhinoceros, I, you know, and you spend $8,000 to do it, I guess you could probably do it. But I don't like this. I, I don't like just shooting in captive reserves and farming for that reason. Um, I don't like it when they do it to deer. I don't like it when they do it to ducks, kangaroos. I don't like they do it when they do it to bison, buffalo. Mostly benefits are extending the lion's habitat because it needs to be released in an ecological area, a large area. Uh, said Ms. Dan Der Viver. I, I can't even pronounce this lady's name. Other arrangements in support of this form of hunting are that it protects the dwindling numbers of wild lions and also managed breeding can strengthen the gene pool. A certain number of wild lions can be killed each year and some of the money raised to use are helping conservation efforts. So you're telling me um, the International Union of Conservation and Nature has back calls to push South America. Okay, anyways, you're telling me, let me finish my sentence here for a moment, folks. You're telling me that you go out there and you kill this animal and it's okay to do this? That it's protecting the wild numbers because you bred a bunch of lions to be killed? I, I mean, and I just read some other animals. or zebra, rhinoceros, we already mentioned the hippos, we already mentioned it. The uh, wild water, water buffalo, the wild buffalo. They do this to pigs. They do it to horses. Why they do it to horses, I don't know. They do this to moose, deer. 
um, birds and fowl and they also do this for other species such as the other wild species and uh, bear is also in here raccoons also in here so hunting for the sake of killing an animal that's bred for you to go and kill it and my and the you know you he just the guy on the board just brought up a good point you do this for cows and pigs and sheep you breed them you raise them then you kill them for food but you're killing them for food you're raising a beef cow to kill it for food you're not eating a lion you can eat a zebra maybe you can eat the lion maybe these people are doing this for food maybe in africa you can eat these animals I doubt you could eat elephant and hippopotamus and rhinoceros. Maybe water buffalo you could, but I doubt it. I don't know. Um, here in America, squirrels, foxes, raccoons, deer, moose, bear. Uh, we got uh, elk farms here mentioned. They're all for food purposes. You go out there, you hunt it, you take it home for food. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think this is right, folks. I just don't. I don't think this is right to raise an animal on a reserve or a farm just to hunt it and kill it, especially when it's an animal. Can't, if, if you're hunting it for food, that's fine. It, uh, you know, if you're not and you're doing it just for fun, which is sport, stop it. It's not funny. It, it shouldn't be done. And with that being said, we're going to go on a break. We got to take a break here. When we come back, we might try to go to the phones. How about that? So we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Renee, and I'm the owner of Angelic Comfort. I'm a psychic medium, intuitive empath, Reiki master, ordained minister, spiritual counselor, and a spiritual guide. Angelic Comfort offers angel readings, spiritual counseling and guidance sessions, spirit communication, energy work workshops, and even private gallery events. We have an on-site shop that, once purchased, each item is individually infused with Reiki energy to help you with any energy work that you may need. Also, we have many posts and blogs on the site that help you to become enlightened a little bit more or even to help you in a time of need. So please stop by Angelic Comfort today at www.angelic-comfort.com. Hi, author and space scientist Stephanie Osborne here. Please join me for my new show. The Osborne Cosmic Weather Report is a five-minute weekly segment that informs listeners about solar and space weather activity, such as sunspots, flares, auroras, comets, meteor showers, as well as space news, historical space anniversaries, and more. For specific air times, check the schedule on your favorite radio station. HRStaley.com for all your insurance needs. Whether it be home insurance, car insurance, business insurance, choose H.R. Staley for that insurance. www.hrstaley.com. hrstaley.com for all your insurance needs. Folks, we're back. We're back, we're back. And the phones uh, have to be answered. Uh, we're going to try it. We have no idea what nutcases are out there. We have no idea what bogus crap is going to happen. We have no idea of any of it. So we're going to try it. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what we can get out of it. And hopefully, hopefully, by all means possible, we can go in the second half of the program uh, okay, so let's 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 get this started and let's see what we can do. So how this is going to work is I'm going to answer the phones. Um, we're going to open up the phones. We all know how it works. We all know how it has to happen. Uh, let's go to our first caller. Caller, hello. Hello. All right. First of all, we're not going to play this stupid shit like we're going to play before him. And yes, I said it. I said shit on the radio. I haven't said it in a while. I'm going to say it about you callers. 
You're not going to call in here and be stupid. Okay, I don't have a call screener. I don't have anything. It's the second half of the program. We've had a good first half of the program. Uh, let's let's see what we can do because this is why I this is why I do this. This is why I have the second half of the program for the callers so we can get the first good half of it out of here. So you guys, so if people need don't want to hear the BS, they can turn the station. But I doubt it because some of these calls are funny. Some of them are funny and dumb and, and absolutely nuts. I think people just listen to the show sometimes because of my callers. But when you're not going to answer, you're not going to say anything, or you're hung up because you've been on hold for a while, that's tough. That shouldn't happen. That is tough. Tough, tough cookies to you. Okay? Let's try this again. And as I said, we're going to try it again. Ready? Let's go to this call. Caller, hello. Okay, this is your second try. Second time I'm going to say it. Caller, hello. Now you a pippin' man. I have no idea what you meant by that, caller. Uh, but thank you very much. Uh, I have no idea. He's talking about pimping or something. Uh, let's go down to the next caller. Caller, hello. Well, I heard you say hello, and then it sounded like you were flushing the toilet. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what that was over. You know, if you're going to call into the show, make sure you're done taking your crap. Make sure you're done taking your crap before you call into my show. I don't want to hear your crap. I don't want to hear your crapping. And I don't want to know that you're crapping and no one else on this program or that listens to this program or that watches this program via iBlogTV.com wants to hear your bathroom activities. <laughs> www.thewadeshow.com uh, and uh, the phones are kind of working, so we're going to see what we can do about that. Uh, let's go down to the next caller. Caller, hello. <laughs> okay, thank you. Wow. Wow, that was unnecessary. Wow, that hurt my ears. I don't know why you just screamed in my ear. I'm sure the rest of the people listening to this program... Uh, probably just uh, had a, a massive uh, hemorrhage in their ear area. Uncalled for. Uh, we got to go on a break anyways. So with that note, I think I'm going to go to the break. When we come back, we're going to do more of the show, and I'm going to see if I can find out why our guest canceled again this week. Uh, that'll be some homework while we're on the break. To find out why they canceled. So, folks, we'll be right back right after this. How do you react when you discover that the next space shuttle disaster has happened right on schedule? As the true scope of the disaster is uncovered by flight director Crash Murphy and astronomer Dr. Mike Anders, they run for their lives as lovers, friends, and co workers perish. What happened to the shuttle? Why is the government calling it an accident? Who's willing to kill to keep it secret? How big is the conspiracy? Burnout, The Mystery of Space Shuttle STS-281 by Stephanie Osborne is available from your favorite booksellers. Hi, author and space scientist Stephanie Osborne here. Please join me for my new show. The Osborne Cosmic Weather Report is a five-minute weekly segment that informs listeners about solar and space weather activity, such as sunspots, flares, auroras, comets, meteor showers, as well as space news, historical space anniversaries, and more. For specific air times, check the schedule on your favorite radio station. Hello, my name is Renee, and I'm the owner of Angelic Comfort. I'm a psychic medium, intuitive empath, Reiki master, ordained minister, spiritual counselor, and a spiritual guide. Angelic Comfort offers angel readings, spiritual counseling and guidance sessions, spirit communication, energy work workshops, and even private gallery events. We have an on-site shop that, once purchased, each item is individually infused with Reiki energy to help you with any energy work that you may need. Also, we have many posts and blogs on the site that help you to become enlightened a little bit more or even to help you in a time of need. So please stop by Angelic Comfort today at www.angelic, 
www.thebrand-comfort.com. And henceforth, we're back. Oh, the last caller with it screaming in my ear. My ears are still ringing from his little screaming. And, and as well, um, Stephanie Osborne has her new book out. Um, go up and check that out for you. Um, go out and check it out. It's great. We hear dinging. We hear danging from everybody on Facebook queuing in. We have iVlog I I vlog TV uh, audience with us. We have... Uh, some more emails I read on break. Uh, but I got this guy on hold. So let's go to his phone call right now. Uh, uh, he is the... Uh, he's our Irish friend. Uh, so let's see. What's what's up, McGregor? What's going on? I need me Debra. Your Debra, what? Me Debra, me Debra. What, what are you talking about? Me dabber, me dabber. I need me dabber. I yeah. shit myself. <laughs> oh, you shit yourself again. Yes, I shit myself. Now I need ah, me dabber. I see. All right. Well, who's going to put your diaper? Uh, how are we going to get a diaper to you? What the f*** talking about, lad? Uh, you just said you need your diaper. How are we going to get one to you? I live in fucking Ireland. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to tell me? What the... Oh, fuck your hell. Someone give me a pint of hell. Someone give me a pint of hell. I'm, I'm getting fucking tired of this bullshit. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for your call. That was that was annoying. Um, calls in every now and then. Some guy from Ireland calls himself McGregor. And this guy, I don't understand it, McGregor. Anyways, let's go back to the phones. Da, da, da. Just pick somebody randomly. Hello. Brain. All right, that was really annoying. Somebody yelling brain into the phone. What is wrong with these callers? We get the phone back. We get ourselves up and running. And then we get these kind of people. And they may not be bad people. Don't knock me here that I'm, I'm bashing these people. But maybe they're pranksters. I haven't had... A regular, regular phone call in a long time. We've had troubles getting the uh, show up on the website. I mentioned that earlier. I've already explained it. I don't need to explain it anymore. And now we open up the phones. We get ourselves settled. And this is happening. So, we're just going to have to deal with it. Anyways, the phones are lighting up. Let's go to the next caller. Next caller. Hello. I don't understand what you're talking about. Can you explain to me what you're talking about? Because I'm lost, ma'am. I'm lost. Explain to me what you're talking about. All I want is flowers and presents and free dinners and everything. Why in the bloody world I'll take anything? I got your bloody near up on the bloody dark. That's it, the bloody theory. The lowest of the lowest of the lowest. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry you're upset. I really am. I don't know what to say. I really don't. Alright, if, if you're going to talk about reporting us and all this negative stuff, I don't need it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why you're talking about it. it I don't know. You want to report me? Report me. www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com Go up there, fill out the form or whatever for the contact information, and tell Renee that I'm a bad person. Tell her I'm a bad radio host and report me. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I don't know. I I just don't know, folks. Negativity with the politicians. Negativity with the animal news. Negativity with people wanting to report me as a bad uh, radio host. I don't get it. Negativity, negativity, negativity. Left and right, left and right. I just don't know what to do. Anyways, I got another caller on here. And we got to go to another break, another trawler. Let's see who else is on the line. <laughs> what the hell? What? What is that? You call me up and laugh at me like the Joker from Batman? I don't get it. I don't get it, folks. I'm done. Let's go to the break. Let's get it out of the way. I'm done. Maybe when we come back from the break, we'll have better people. Maybe, what, maybe I'll just end the damn show. I don't know. Because now you're laughing like the Joker. I don't get it. We'll be right back. I, I just don't get it. We will be right back. 
Folks, I know that insurance is important. And in some states like my own, it's the law to have good car insurance. It's the law to have good home insurance. So why not go to the professionals when you're looking for better insurance? H.R. Staley Insurance Agency. HRStaley.com. Go up on the website, ask for a quote. Her name is Heather, and she's a good friend of mine, and I want you, just like myself and hundreds of other people, to have good insurance. Better yet, I want you personally to go up to her website, ask for a quote. Tell her Wade of The Wade Show sent you. Tell her that I sent you to get better insurance, to get good insurance. Folks, www.hrstaley.com for all your insurance needs. Hello, my name is Renee, and I'm the owner of Angelic Comfort. I'm a psychic medium, intuitive empath, Reiki master, ordained minister, spiritual counselor, and a spiritual guide. Angelic Comfort offers angel readings, spiritual counseling and guidance sessions, spirit communication, energy work workshops, and even private gallery events. We have an on-site shop that, once purchased, each item is individually infused with Reiki energy to help you with any energy work that you may need. Also, we have many posts and blogs on the site that help you to become enlightened a little bit more or even to help you in a time of need. So please stop by Angelic Comfort today at www.angelic-comfort.com. Hi, author and space scientist Stephanie Osborne here. Please join me for my new show. The Osborne Cosmic Weather Report is a five-minute weekly segment that informs listeners about solar and space weather activity, such as sunspots, flares, auroras, comets, meteor showers, as well as space news, historical space anniversaries, and more. For specific air times, check the schedule on your favorite radio station. And we're back. HRStaley.com for all your insurance needs. Uh... I, I don't know, during the break, a few emails about our callers. Nothing political. Negative callers. I think I'm going to close the call. Uh, we're, we're up We're up to uh, the point where we're almost the end of the show. So I could end it anytime I want. I don't want to go over the time period that I'm given here. www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com uh, www.thewadeshow.com it's it's a pleasure to be on Diversity Broadcasting Network. Uh, Renee and I have negotiated something new for me to do up here. Um, I have a lot more freedom, by the way. Anyways, we're getting to the uh, part where we are going to have to end the show. We're going to have to get to the ending of the show. My time period is ending. And that's why I put the callers in the second half, by the way. Like I mentioned before. The callers are put in the second half... Because they don't know enough to do good calling. I don't know enough to have good things to say to me and not be totally, totally off the wall. But anyways. All right, folks. The time period has come up. We're going to have to end the program. The next program is great. I want you to tune into it. Uh, there's some other programming here on www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com. Uh, Obviously, you're probably listening to this. If not, uh, then you know it. www.diversitybroadcastingnetwork.com has all of Diversity Broadcasting Network radio shows up there. And you can go in any, any, any of these shows during the week. Uh, the weekends are great. Sometimes they rebroadcast this show there. I know my show is going to be on YouTube. On my YouTube, it's going to be on my website. So I hope to see you all next week. I hope to see you all visit my website www.thewadeshow.com. I am out of here. I will see you next week.